Let us continue in the bonus game of Maggie's Movies Camera Action. We are on level 4 in the bonus. Where we have the side objective, keep your mind off your problems. Get 50 combos, chains, or bonuses. <laughs> what? 50, alright. Strawberry juice. Yes. 50, alright. You know, Grandpa, he's just a bit silly and weird. I spoke with Diego a while ago. Did you know he's the son of Mrs. Martinez from the store? He's not at all the boy you described. But Jessica says... I'm sure Jessica says a lot of things. Make up your own mind about things. Don't just go with what Jessica says. It's not about what Jessica says. It's about who he really is. Did it cross your mind that he must be very lonely? Try to put yourself in his shoes. But... I trust Jessica. Why would I doubt what she says? I get your point. But frankly, Jessica's a bitch. Sana. Dump her. Fast. Pless. Honesty, Maggie. Do you really feel okay just listening to Jessica? I... I actually... Don't. You should meet this boy. Be honest to yourself. It's not easy to stick to this virtue. But it's well worth it in the end, Maggie. Yeah, yeah it is. Okay, we need to get all the combos. get a oh extra camera machine. I was gonna go see the movie too. Zari. <clears throat> oh wait, this this dude is gonna do oh whatever. Oh wait, quick bonuses are actually part of this. Oh, never mind, it's not so impossible then. At owl. <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, full order is also a bonus thing? <clears throat> okay, wow. Then this got so much easier now that I understood that. Never mind then. not get my three stars because I was not playing good. <clears throat> If I'd known that full order was a bonus or whatever, I could have just played as normal and I probably got those 50 bonuses, but oh well. Hello, my dear. Oh, good afternoon, Mrs. Martinez. I brought your grandpa's wallet. He left it in the store again. Huh, <laughs> yeah, he does keep doing it. I guess you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah, I guess. You look a bit sad, Maggie. What's eating you? Me? Uh, oh, nothing, really. Come on, Maggie. I can read you like an open book. What's wrong? Well, my friend is sometimes a bit arrogant and selfish. And she's rarely kind to other people. Sometimes, I don't like the way she acts. Just don't let it bother you. Why don't you tell me... Tell, blah, why don't you tell her how you feel? Listen, Maggie, it's her problem, not yours. You're a good girl. You have nothing on your conscience, right? Well... Uh... Sort of, but also... Yes, but no, but yes. Alright. I'll be back. Alrighty, so yeah, I didn't actually have to do anything special. I got those 50 bonuses anyways, because like, full um, orders and all that. So we made it, unlocked the kiwi juice, and now we have a challenge. Don't waste anything. Alright. Let's not waste anything. I want the calendar. Soon. Soon. Anyways, don't waste anything. Cool. Oh, we only have three spots on the tray. Cool. Pink cotton candy unlocked. Coolio! Coolio, coolio, I know, but I can only pick up things so fast. Things can only be picked up so fast. There's a limit to the speed with which things can be picked up from these encounters. Yeah, this one is spill proof, so that's cool.
premium adult ticket unlocked. I know I will attend to you soon, I promise. Premium kid ticket unlocked. Please let me clean all the tables before you're done. Please, please, please! Yes, I think so. Yes, I'm pretty certain we'll have time. Yes, please. Yes. We're not gonna make it. Oh yes, because we did the challenge. Ah. I thought it was just a clean bonus left, but it was actually challenge points as well. Level 5. Side objective. Maggie's waiting for a call from Jessica. Pick up the phone four times. Pink cotton candy. Premium adult ticket. And premium kid ticket. Ooh, a new cookie. Sock cookie, glove cookie. Ah, oh, colorful cotton candy. Brownie, white cake, fruit cake. Hi, Diego. Hey. Y you must be Maggie. Yeah. You know my name? My mom told me about you, and I met your grandpa. Mr. Wells is a really cool guy. <laughs> I like him too. I haven't seen you in the cinema lately. No, I met him in my mother's store. I hope we're out from time to time. That's why I couldn't go to the ski camp. Oh yeah, I bet you just can't afford it. My mom really needs my help. Sure, you must be absolutely irreplaceable. I do my... Jessica! Why are you doing this? Doing what exactly? I don't know, being a giant douchebag maybe? You're being horrible to Diego! You're bullying him! Fine, if that's how you feel, then you have fun with your new friend. Yes, please, go away. Bye, Fatsy. I feel bad even reading the stuff she's saying, seriously. Ugh. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Yes, please ask Jessica to call Maggie back when she can. Goodbye. Did you- do you think she'll call back, Grandpa? I'm sure she will. I'll keep my eye on the phone. No, she won't, because she's a spoiled, selfish, arrogant brat. 
And by not participating in her bullying, you hurt her feelings. Blah, 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 blah. Go away. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to... I did not want to pick that up. La, 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 la. No, I'm not interested in alone. No, oh, I'm just clicking all the wrong things right now. <sighs> oh, I needed it, of course. Yes, I ordered them for tomorrow. I know, game, I know. I'm on my way. Would you calm down? I'll be free at 6 p.m. Okay, can everyone chill? Holy baloli. You can make a reservation. Oh, we're still making it to three stars. Yes.
Yes, I know they're having dinner, but it's very important. Thank you very much. Hello? Hey, Ted, it's Jessica. I like how the phone um, line, what's it called, cord is like over here and it just stops. Like, the, it's just someone like took a scissor and cut it. But she's holding the receiver over here, which is no like. This is some cell phone trick here. Hey, Jessica, what's up? I want to talk with you about it on the camp. But because I couldn't make it this year... Yeah, that's a shame. Yeah, I really miss skiing and being with everybody out there. Ted, you know, about the winter ball... Sure. Would you go with me? Okay, I guess she technically has asked Ted after they stopped being friends, so she's not like, in that sense, breaking any promises, but I also still get that what she's doing is still like, bad and drama inducing and yeah, told ya. Anyways, that's it for this episode, so thank you all for watching and I'll see ya.